reserve citizen airmen and families, the command chief and I. Command chief is telecommuting today, so I had to bring him in on FaceTime. But we wanted to touch base with you to share our plan ahead for the Air Force Reserve as we help our country respond to and mitigate the spread of COVID-19. As many of you heard, the president announced a national emergency on March 13th due to the novel coronavirus. As your commander, I wanted you to know my intent going forward. First, we're gonna take care of you, our airmen, both civilian and military, also your families. It is my number one priority. Second, we wanna ensure information flow that arms you with the facts, the guidance, and the actions at hand so you can make decisions for your unit and your family. It is critical to common nerves and meeting our mission success. Third, we're gonna preserve decision space for our commanders in the field. It's essential that we let them be flexible and dynamic in this environment we face. Now more than ever, I need commanders to command. I ask those leaders to lean forward while erring on the side of caution. We've gotta be able to balance our operational requirements with the safety of our people. Fourth, we're gonna to continue to execute our mission essential operations and our wartime mission. It's vital to our national defense. We need to balance risk with readiness, and that's gonna to be tough in this dynamic environment. The command is gonna be here to help you. Fifth, we gotta preserve our force. We gotta take care of Americans. That is our ultimate mission. Stay the course and watch out for each other. Ask for help when you need it. Be proud of the task put in front of us and continue to serve with professionalism, integrity, and service before self. Good afternoon, team. As the boss said, taking care of airmen and families is job number one. Part of that is preventing further exposure to COVID-19. As such, the Department of Defense just announced widespread travel restrictions. These affect the entire DOD workforce. If you are a reservist in status, your leave and travel are affected. If you are a DOD civilian or family member, your government-funded travel is affected. Regardless of whether you are a military member, civilian employee, con contractor, or family member, please do your part and follow DOD directives and local protection measures. Force health protection is critical to our ability to accomplish a mission. I'm empowering local and base commanders to assess their community environments, work with local and state agencies, and make smart decisions affecting their reserve citizen airmen, their families, and their communities. We want to ensure our airmen and their families are getting the facts on COVID-19. We encourage all to visit the Air Force COVID-19 webpage on www.af.mil for the latest on guidance, the virus, and how it affects the service. Reserve specific questions and answers are on our Air Reserve Personal Center and Air Force Reserve websites and social media pages. Still can't find an answer? Check your unit's webpage and social media sites and reach out to your unit leadership. An individual reservist is stay in close contact with their chain of command and their real detachment. Bottom line, take care of each other by communicating up and down the chain. As we keep you informed, pass on the knowledge to your fellow airmen and keep your families informed. In closing, let me share this with you. What we are facing will test our readiness. It will test our resiliency. It will test our organizational processes and it will test our resources. And it will test our resolve. Help our Air Force Reserve family stay flexible, proactive, and healthy. We will come out a stronger, more confident, and successful team in the end. Our nation needs us, and I empower you to lead your people and families through this evolving environment with confidence, with calm, and with care. And on behalf of the Command Chief, who's telecommuting, and myself, aim high, Airmen. <laughs>